Hello everybody, this is Jared Ronsky of SportsAnnouncing.com and right now we're going to go over how to use Sports Sounds Pro a little bit with organization. I'm going to show you a little bit how I organize my buttons and how they're all set on the screens. Right now you're looking at hockey. Uh, we'll also go over volleyball in a few minutes and baseball as well. Those are the three big sports that I do a lot with that require a lot of organization. But right here you see how hockey is set up. You look over here on the left side of the screen underneath in the A library over here I've got charges, claps, sound claps, extra organ. These four right here, these four you'll see that are all crowd prompts, their organ effects, their stuff that I use, quick drops is needed during games. Then you come down to penalties home. All of these are home penalties. At one time, you see how all of these buttons are blue. I set these to blue because at one time on one page, I had blue for home penalties and I had a different color for the away team penalties. And you can see even down here, I still have a couple of songs that I haven't transferred over to that blue, but you can do that as well. Down here, game is conduct for visitors. You can see the selection of songs right there as well. Now, you'll notice that all these songs you can find on the playlist section at sportsannouncing.com, so I'm not too worried about anybody finding it um, and saying, oh, you know, I'm going to steal all of his, his ideas. Now, right here, this is one of these pages that uses a good idea for organization. You see up here, it says holding. It's right there. It says tripping right here on sportsmanlike conduct, roughing, slap shot bits, offsetting penalties, head contact. These are various penalties that happen within USA Hockey and other hockey leagues as well. So I have them all organized right here. Because there are so many in each one, underneath holding, I've got seven songs. Underneath tripping, I actually only have about four songs, but these other three songs I can use for Unsportsmanlike Conduct, which falls over into the next column, which you see right here, has another seven songs. And I can even use Temper Temper for roughing penalties as well. Roughing, there's a whole wide range of it. Up here, you see Check Yourself by Ice Cube. That one is meant more for checking in a non-checking league. But you see how everything is organized. These buttons up here that you see in the black with the black background and the white text, these are called placeholders. Now I'm going to delete this button. That's going to ask me to verify yes. I'm going to show you how to put in a place marker. You right click on the on the button, insert place marker right here, and it's holding. So I'll type in H O L D I N G, hit OK, and boom, there's your place marker. Now no matter how many times I click on it, nothing's going to come out because it's a dummy button. It doesn't actually connect to any sound file. So you can click it all you want, nothing's going to happen. It's great for organizing pages like this. When you get down to, I have a pregame button here at the bottom. Here's the warm-up songs that I use. Here's national anthems right here for Canada and the United States. Builds before teams take the ice. This is meant more for a USA hockey style event where teams take the ice, you have a quick warm-up, maybe you have an anthem, and then you go into the opening face-off. And you see here, I've got a variety of different songs that are available here too. Now, the way that I have everything organized, and this is the way that it works best for me, and I encourage everybody to organize what works best for you. On No matter what the sport is, whether it's baseball, basketball, football, hockey, whatever the sport is, I have the first four are the same four buttons. So the first one is always going to be Charge Happy Mex Family. So no matter what I go through, it's going to be there. And then I get into sports-specific buttons down here. And then you see Hockey 1. This is the playlist that I use during games. Um, in other videos, I'll explain to you what the C means, why some of these buttons are different colors over here, um, what you see on here with the C-A-Y, that, that's a hotkey, and, and we'll go over that one in the hotkeys video as well. But you scroll through here, you see these are all in-game songs that I can use, and I do. Come down here to Visitor Goals, and you see there's a wide variety of Visitor Goal songs on here. I also chose to use this screen because at one time this is where I could put some instrumental songs, that I could use for quieter times during the game. If there's an injury and after the injury's over, they get up, they move away. And I don't necessarily want to play an injury song. Down here, fighting goalie songs, goalie removal. You see the first three rows up here fall into that category. The second two, now you're starting to get into good calls or good saves made by the goalies. Just something different that goes in the game. Down here, you get some stuff, you know, you get a scrum on the ice. You have some songs in there for that, and then down here, fighting songs. I used to work in leagues that had fighting, so I needed a, a variety of fighting songs. You can see not many of them are very up-to-date, but they're there just in case I, I need to at some point. So you see how everything is organized here. I'll go over to I, and I have four buttons here. Volleyball sounds, volleyball timeout, one, two, and three. 
The one here that I concentrate on is volleyball sounds. Now you'll notice that I don't have any organ sounds up here. There's a reason for that because I just don't have the time. I use hotkeys more for the organ effects during timeouts. But here you see aces. And they're this kind of darker green color. Blocks are this gray color. Um, there's two songs on here that are on a different computer that I use. I just don't have them on this computer. That's why they're purpled out. I can click it. Sound file not found. Kills are this green color. These two here, the darker green color, they're more for bumps. They're more for a little bit bigger plays that go on. So they fit into the kills category, but more for a little bit bigger play. Down here, we have songs that I use for specific players names some hot timeouts if needed are right down here at the bottom too so the, it, it all gets customized as we go along now I'll come down here and I'm gonna pull up the baseball screen and again you see charge claps song claps organ songs which are close to the same as what you saw on the other and then you get into sports specific with walks double plays stolen bases and if you look down here there is a wide variety there's walks double plays stolen ba double stolen bases two different rally screens which now should be three home runs uh, visitor home runs and this was back when I was announcing for the Washington Glory so each player's batter song was stored right here now I keep them in a whole separate group foul ball sound effects strikeouts more strikeouts yes I I do have a propensity for pulling out a lot of different strikeout bits miscellaneous happenings and again you see the organization fly out sacrifices bunts hit batters several foul balls errors strange happenings Wild pitches, caught stealing, they're all in here. Then you have pitching changes. So you have a meeting on the mound. You can play something. They take the pitcher out. They play something else. These are more long songs here that you can play when the pitchers are coming in. And these are these down here where it says home songs. These are more for if your pitcher gets taken out and you've got time to play something like, you know, keep them a little bit more upbeat and not really put down your pitcher. And then down here, just little sound effects and, and bits that I have for when the umpire comes out. Inning enders, instrumental injury, disputes, inning songs. This one was meant more for the uh, in-game sponsored bits that we had throughout. That's why there's kind of a variety of stuff on here. These were the ones that we used every night for different things or that we would need for special sponsors type events. For batter music, I go down to F, and you see here I have Demath of 14, Demath of Warm Up, uh, Demath of 14. These were all the batter songs for the players, and some of them had more than one song. And we'll talk about the hotkeys that I used in this in the hotkey tutorial. I want to thank you for taking a look at this organization tutorial on Sports Sounds Pro. Please feel free to check out sportsannouncing.com for more up to date information on various things that have to do with sports announcing of course sports sounds pro and other details that you need to to learn to make your shows better in sports announcing and others if you have any questions just feel free to send me an email at dj at sports thanks and hope you enjoyed it